What's up guys, Grizzly Wizard here, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm taking a look at all of the Elder Scrolls Online cinematic trailers. I had so much fun the other day reacting to all the Final Fantasy XIV cinematic trailers that I had the idea, why not do this for every other MMO that's out there, because I haven't really played any of them. Um, for Elder Scrolls Online, I am in a similar boat to Final Fantasy where I haven't played the game itself, um, but I do have a little bit more knowledge of the world because I did play Skyrim. I played the hell out of Skyrim, actually. <laughs> Um, I haven't played Morrowind or Oblivion or any of the other ones in the Elder Scrolls series, but I played some fucking Skyrim, that's for sure. I've always really liked just the aesthetics of Elder Scrolls. Um, it really fits in there. It's high fantasy, but the, the monsters are monsterific, and the dark stuff is horrifying and dark, and they're not afraid to go that extra length. I appreciate the aesthetics of Elder Scrolls. It really um, is right up my alley, stylistically and artistically, and I really like a high fantasy universe. Where, where gods walk among mortals, or in this case, Daedric princes. I really like the uh, like like the subtle horror elements that creep into the game. Um, they make the vampires downright horrifying. The idea of existing in a world with like malevolent god-level beings walking among us, tricking the mortals into doing things like it feels like something out of out of Greek or Roman mythology. And I really have always really I've always really liked that, and I've always really vibed with that particular aspect of it. Um, but in terms of the actual story, I don't really know anything outside of Skyrim's story. And I know that there is an overarching thing here. I don't know if Elder Scrolls Online takes place before or after Skyrim. These are all things we're going to find out. So without further ado, here are the, all the Elder Scrolls Online cinematic trailers in the order of release this time. We did Final Fantasy in chronological order. This is release order. Other than my, other than my playing of Skyrim, I really don't know what to expect here. I don't, timeline-wise, are we before or after that story? I don't know. Uh, without further ado, let's find out. Alrighty, and this first trailer is the announcement trailer. Let's go. Bethesda. What do you got for me? The Imperial Throne sits empty. The dragon fires cold, unlit, and from every corner, dark. Oh, whoa. I thought those were scales. Now, ancient enemies band together. Unlikely alliances are forged. Old ambitions rekindle. And as enemies rise faster than allies, salvation cannot come from one hero alone. Oh, it's the logo. That's cool. That's fun. That guy's voice is very familiar. Sounds like Ian Abercrombie, but I think he passed away before this came out. All right, that was just a little, a little stinger to get you, wet your whistle, get you in the mood there. Um, and now that it's been announced, let's go with the E3 2012 teaser trailer. 2012. Wow, this is a long time ago now. Something's at the gates. Is it a siege? Or is it a contained beast breaking through? Ooh. Barbarian, a Nord by the looks of him. Hello. We got an elf. And we got an elf doing magic. Sick. It's like a stealth archer. Okay, that was a battering ram, so this this is a siege scenario for sure. Give it to me. Oh, that's it? What a tease! What a tease, man! They really tried to dial up the suspense for this. Okay, okay, no, that that was sufficiently hype building, but like at this point I'm I'm seated for the main course. Just give it to me. Um and it looks like here it is. The Elder Scrolls Online, the Alliances cinematic trailer. Let's go. May contain content inappropriate for children. That's why I'm here. Okay, here we go. The barbarian is with elves. Okay. 
Got a mixed party here. These graphics are excellent for 2012. I mean, it helps when it's like a dimly lit environment, for sure. Yeah, look at this badass. Alright, he's my favorite already. I always play barbarians in fantasy, whenever I can. What the fuck is that thing? Werewolf? Oh, undead werewolf! Let's fucking go! Oh, there's a bunch of them! Come on, barbarian! Oh, he's not even worried about it. Look at this. Oh! Fucking bodied. He's like, alright, what's next? broke through to the surface. Or there was a light above him of some sort. Ah! Oh shit! God, that looks stressful as hell! And they're just throwing like massive blocks down. Come on, girl! That's, that's, uh, Cyrodiil. That's the, the Imperial Capital. That's the White Tower, right? I keep wanting to call it the Tower of Ichthelion, but that is definitely Lord of the Rings. <laughs> oh! Yeah, they're Imperial. They've got that, that Roman Centurion look to them. Okay, so all three of these little, these groups that we're seeing, I think they're working together. Just like it's a multi-pronged attack. Barbarians under the ground trying to fight his way up. Elf is just scaling the walls like a badass. And and the rogue is doing ranged support. Oh my god. I would not have the balls to run across one of those. Because, like... Oh god, yeah, no, exactly! Don't do it! Oh, man. What a way to go. No, thank you. No fucking way. What are you doing?! Yo! Oh my god! Yes. Yes. Putting in the work. Take these Imperial dogs out. Skyrim belongs to the Nords. I know we're not in Skyrim. Alright, the rogue is cool. Okay, cool. She's made it to the she's made it to the entryway. I'm telling you, they're all working together. She got that cocky smile. She knows she's good. Nice. I guess that's a quick way to get down there. Oh, it's the Barbarian. Yes. Maybe they're not allies. Maybe they just, it's like, this is an accidental meeting. Either way, this is definitely how the party is formed. Like, these guys are definitely going to squad up, I can tell. The facial animation, it, it, it's so good for 2012. Come on, guys, don't fight. Band together. Oh, that was cool, actually, because, like, the way they were standing in the circle totally mirrored the logo of the... 
I see you, Bethesda. That was pretty sweet, actually. That was pretty sweet. All right, so that was that was the first actual real look at uh, at the Elder Scrolls Online. I'm liking what I'm seeing so far. That siege was so dope. The rogue like jumping across like the ladders as they were shooting across, dodging the arrows. I think he definitely he he definitely takes home the prize for best fight scene in that one for sure. Although the barbarian was kicking ass against those like zombie werewolf things. I don't actually know what they were. Um, but let's keep going. The next one is called The Arrival Cinematic Trailer. Let's do it. Blood and gore, sexual themes, use of alcohol and violence. Sounds like a good time. Okay, so they're just fighting each other now. Maybe I was maybe I was totally wrong. Maybe they are just enemies. Oof. They're like evenly matched. You guys are wasting time. I'm sorry, what is happening? That can't be good. Oh! Oh, this is some Daedric nonsense right here. This is one of the Daedric doing this. Yeah, when shit starts coming out of the sky, I'm out of there. I'm not trying to fight a god. <laughs> God, it is Daedra. It totally is. Oh, something huge just moved in there. Yeah, look at his armor. Oh my god, they look so good. What the fuck is that? Oh, hell no. <laughs> Elf would like to join your party. Rogue would like to join your party. I know these three are badasses, but like... Can we fight a bunch of Daedric soldiers here? Oh, man. We're certainly going to try. Let's go. Oh. oh, God. That thing's like something out of Warhammer. It's so nasty. Oh, and it's got like little gross things coming off the big gross thing. That's so Warhammer. <laughs> Oh, man. This is chaotic as fuck. I would watch a movie of this, for sure. Oh, come on, Elf. You got this. Oh, no. There was something traveling out of his hand on that blade. Yeah, look at that. Dude, drop the sword. Drop the sword. He's going to possess you or something. Or worse. Oh, man. So are we losing the rogue this early? Yes. Bubble shield. I like that her magic is green, by the way. I don't know. That, just, that really does it for me right now. Oh, what? Oh, shit, it's like a chain attack. No! Oh, that's gonna... 
Yep, yep, it's breaking her concentration. Oh, we're running out of time here and already down one character. Is the barbarian gonna clutch it somehow? Yes! Oh, that's clever! Fuck these Daedric assholes! Take it out! <laughs> what? Oh, you just saved Barbarian's ass! The Daedra are just giving up. They're like, alright, well, we're fucked. Our portal has untethered itself, so... The first time we saw that bridge, I knew that fucker was coming down. Massive stone obstacle just waiting to drop. Wait, who got picked up? Is that the rogue? He got stabbed and then he was kneeling there. I don't know what happened to him, but there's some magic involved. Oh god, I guess that like that's the choice. Do you try and burrow and protect yourself or do you try and outrun the debris? I don't know, man. I think I would just die running. Is that it? Oh, there's more. Tough as hell, this guy. He's a barbarian, he's probably got the most most hit points, you know? He's the tank. I am wildly impressed with how good these graphics look for how old this is. Once we hit about the 2010s, I feel like um, cinematics start to plateau in terms of quality. Like, we really hit as high as we could. Like, this looks so good. It looks so real. This is over 10 years old now. Okay, he rescued the elf. What about the rogue? His horse rescued him. Okay, cool, and she's good. She's still got some she's still got some magic in her fingers. Okay, the rogue. This has gotta be the rogue. On his horse. Okay, and he's heading for the heart of Cyrodiil. Oh, no. Wait, is he undead? But he was corrupted by a Daedra. Shouldn't he be, like, a weird Daedric person now? Because that's a fucking zombie standing right there. Oh, dear. Oh, Lord. What? And that's where they end it? No! <laughs> Ah, I keep forgetting I have all of them available, so I can just go to the next one. It's like, man, I can't imagine if this trailer came out and I had to wait to see what happens next. That was awesome. That was awesome. We're fighting we're fighting Daedric princes up in here, and chains are falling from the sky. That was an awesome little, like, boss fight. The arrival. The arrival of, of, of a shitstorm, that's for sure. All right, what's next? Elder Scrolls Online, The Siege cinematic trailer. Okay, I'm guessing that we are still at Cyrodiil, and now it is... The besieged by the undead, right? And we gotta find a way to stop him. Man, that's too bad the rogue became a bad guy so quickly. Maybe there's a way to save him. I don't know. He definitely got corrupted in that first fight. That's too bad. He seemed like he was, like, genuinely a good guy before that. Alright, let's keep going. The Siege. Blood and gore, sexual themes, use of alcohol and violence. Okay, those were Daedric warriors. So the Daedra and the undead together are attacking right now. Oh, I got creepy rat things. I'm noticing the Skyrim overture in the music, like, 
re recreated in multiple different ways, and it's very cool. Who is this guy? Look at him. He's like, I love being evil. <laughs> oh, God. Just mass chaos. It's like the last alliance of elves and men against this Daedric nonsense. Yeah, he's loving it. Look at this. No, not the rats! Defend the trebuchets! Okay, he's climbing into it. What is this camera angle? This is awesome! Oh, brace for impact! That is such a Warhammer move. Oh my god, there's so many of them. What can men do against such reckless hate? Oh my god, look! Hey, there was an Argonian in there! Okay, okay, we've made it. Hey, there's another Argonian, cool. I'm glad we're finally getting the other races in this. This guy seems like kind of a douchebag. A, a mage. Oh! What the hell? Why is she imprisoned? Oh, he wants to use her magic. He's a, he's a sorcerer and he knows she's more powerful than him. So he's using her as like some sort of a conduit to... Oh, shit! Oh my god, she's powerful! Mmm! That feels so violating to do that without her consent, like she's chained up and forced to use her magic like this. That's fucked. But like, holy shit, did it work? The fighting is stopped, are there any Daedra left? I'm really glad that we're getting Argonians, but where am I Khajiit at? Would they not be in this part of the world? Oh, look, he's got a bunch of roadies. I always thought that would be a fun job, just like wear a cloak and follow an evil wizard around. You don't have to really do anything. Yeah, this dude is like, we have to save the world, but at, at what cost, you know? He was willing to go to the lengths that make him kind of a bad guy. Oh, she's pissed, and she's free now. Yes! Oh, well, he's super dead back there. <laughs> okay, we only have one shot at this. Gotta take out the blondie dude. Oh, God! Oh, it's the rogue! No! Can't we all just get along, man? Ooh. God. Guy looks terrible. <laughs> I don't think we can save him. I think he's gone. He's a corpse now. Oh. I was going to say, every time we see a big circle, I know it's about to end. Because we're going to smash cut to the logo. That was awesome. I feel like there's so much story happening between these two trailers. Like, what happened to the elf to get her imprisoned by this the, the, this this evil sorcerer? Or at least a sorcerer with very much, like, going about good intentions in the worst possible way. Like, clearly he was trying to save everyone too, but... You can't do that, man. You can't chain up an elf and then force them to use their magic. That's messed up. That was awesome. These trailers, these trailers are super cool, and I feel like that this would make such a fun, like fantasy movie if they ever made a movie of this story i would be seated day one all right next is the confrontation cinematic trailer let's go blood and gore sexual themes use of alcohol and violence 
Okay, we're jumping right back into it. Let's go. I don't want... Uh, I'm, I'm conflicted. I want the Barbarian to win this fight for sure. But I don't necessarily want the Rogue to die if there's a way of saving him. I don't think we can save him, though. I think he died when the Daedra stabbed him. And now this is just like some evil, some evil machination inhabiting his corpse. That's a great shot. The graphics are only getting better. Okay, let's go. Come on. Mm. See, the barbarian's slow and he hits really fucking hard, but the, the rogue is just so quick. Come on, dude. You got this. Do it for Skyrim. This guy's probably a fucking Breton or something. He's so much taller than him. <laughs> yeah, see, the rogue is just going to evade all of his attacks. He's too quick. Oh! He got him in the face! Oh my god! I like that they're using this tight camera angle, which makes the fighting seem so much more intense, too. Oh, that's that's pretty cold, man. You're just going to drop him? Oh! Oh, God! In the forearm! Yeah, you kind of deserved that, though, bro. That was a very cold way to kill him. And he just, like, walked away without looking. Oh my god, if he defeats the Barbarian, I'm gonna be pissed. Oh, no! Damn it! Okay, come on. He's enraged. He's enraged now. He's going berserker mode. Look what you've done! Look what you've done! <laughs> Yeah. Barbarian wins the fight, but he needs medical attention. He just got stabbed up like three times. Damn, man. Savage. Man, that's a tragic story for the rogue. He was never trying to be a bad guy. And then he gets himself corrupted and infected. Possibly died and came back as a corpse, I'm thinking. And then he has to die like this? Alright, Barbarian, you gotta kick his fucking ass. He's so pissed. He's like, I don't need my fucking helmet for this. No way. Are they, are they going to give us this fight as well? In the same trailer? I got the Barbarian is absolutely the MVP if he just comes in here and takes out the boss. Are you kidding me? No! Come on! Oh, thank God. It's not over. Who's this? You know, I bet he's hallucinating and that's like his wife or whoever he loved back home. Oh, cool. And it's actually the elf. That's cool. That makes me think of Frodo when he sees Arwen approaching and she's like wearing a white dress when actually she's wearing like all dark colors. He's hallucinating from the magic of the elf. He's like, oh, I'm sorry. She's like, yeah, I know.
She too, see, look, she too understands what it's like to be a slave. To be imprisoned. That was cool. I love how they portrayed that without any words at all. We can, we can see exactly what's happening in this interaction. Be at peace. Yeah. That's hard. Just like slit his throat. Everything's like coming off of him. Wait, did his wound just disappear? I can't tell if she killed him or cleansed him. And there's your big circle, so this is the end, right? Awesome. That one was badass. The confrontation. Well, I'm sad to see the rogue go, but honestly, I don't know that he's dead at this point, because she slit his throat, but then... The mark started disappearing. Oh? Friendship over with the barbarian? He's naked somewhere. Okay, here he is. Oh man, I gotta I gotta know what happens next. We're diving right into the next one. These are so much fun. Interesting. So the barbarian kills the rogue. The elf comes upon the body of the rogue, cleanses him of his corruption, and now blames the barbarian for murdering the rogue? That doesn't why would she throw his helmet like that? That doesn't seem fair. He's out here trying to save the fucking world. Oh well. Maybe we'll get some answers in this next one. Okay, so next we've got the Morrowind announcement trailer. Morrowind. Uh, Morrowind was one of the first, um, I don't know if it was the first Elder Scrolls game or if, if it was Oblivion or Morrowind, which one came first, but I know it's a, pl it's a place within Tamriel. Um, it's where the elves come from? Yes? No? Maybe, maybe half the elves, like the dark elves, but not the high elves? I don't know. I clearly know nothing about what I'm talking about. <laughs> Let's just watch the damn trailer and find out, shall we? Morrowind announcement trailer. Let's go. Content appropriate for children. Good. What do you ask of me, assassin? Oh, we're in a totally different like biome. It looks like. To execute the Grand Master for his betrayal of the Order. These are dark elves. You can tell from the eyes. Hmm. Granted, heal him somewhere out of the way. Ooh, that's cool. It's like a Dwemer, like a Dwarven Ruin. Nice. New character. <laughs> I love that all the Argonians were like, nope, we're out. They just dipped. Oh, what? Dwarven stuff. Oh my god, it looks really good. That's one thing I love about Elder Scrolls is that they were bold enough to have an entire, like, legacy fantasy race, the dwarves, be extinct at the start of the game. Hello? Oh, is he a red guard? Now we're talking. We got another party somewhere else in the world. Oh, cool. They're busting out all the old toys. Oh, shit! Man, the dwarven like centurions and shit are terrifying. Yes. Yeah, the High Elves are the Altmer. The uh, Dark Elves are the Bosmer. The Wood Elves, I think, are the Bosmer. Bosmer. And then the, the Dunmer are the Dark Elves.
you're still about to get assassinated, dude. Like, you're not out of this yet. <laughs> oh, shit. What the hell is that? Oh, what? It's so cold! <laughs> she kicked him into it and then bubbled. Oh, man. Oh, let's fucking go. That's awesome. Oh, the bear is fully part of the party. <laughs> Return swiftly, Morag Tong. And bring any allies you meet. Morrowind has need of you all. Look at that volcano. Okay, Morrowind. So Morrowind wasn't an accessible region of the of Tamriel at launch, I guess, and they added it as like a DLC in 2017. Okay. I can dig it. Morrowind was cool. It was so cool getting to see like uh, dwarven stuff, like dwarven tech in in action. We'll call it we'll call it live action, but really it's just like a, a high quality CGI. But it looks better than it ever did in gameplay, and so that's still exciting for me. Um, now we're moving on to Elder Scrolls Online Somerset cinematic trailer. Let's go. Ooh, I see a familiar pretty. place. Haunted by shadows. What are those things? Shadows that spread across the lands. Seeking to rule over all. Oh, hey! You were in the parking lot earlier. That's how I know you. Of my home. So she's from Somerset. Okay, nice. Your home needs you now more than ever. Kajit! Finally! Well, yes, I've been back. waiting for a Khajiit. Oh, that was much too short. Yes, this is a teaser, isn't it? Somerset, love it. I like that they added little little leaves to the to the to the round logo too. All right, this next one is Elder Scrolls Online Somerset official cinematic trailer. You carry an aura of confusion and despair. She's fallen. The Tell graphics have gotten even better. What did you see? I saw a familiar place. Covered in strange shadows. Shadows that are in plain view. Oh, it's a cute dog. Hidden. Kinda of creepy lurking though. Waiting to pounce on fear. God, that Khajiit looks so good with this stupid little red mohawk. Look at that. Excuse me, are those fucking Tyranids? What is going on? Ooh, there's like a forest spirit with the dog over there. Crawling silently among us. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. We're not doing that. We're not doing spiders today. Sorry. Releasing poisons of deceit and Whoa. hatred. That's a cool design. No! For purity. For purity? Some kind of weird zealot inquisition? Like spider people. Shadows that soar and grow in power. The raven's got glowing eyes just like that dog did. Is it, are there mages like seeing it's through the animal's eyes? Is that what's happening? And consumes the world. Fight! I'm so happy we're finally getting like a, a Khajiit. It looks so good. No!
Man, How she's cool. This vision of yours end? With her falling. Whoever's behind this has, like, command of the animals. The raven, this lost. thing, the dog. Oh, Jesus. All right, well, that kicked my thalassophobia into overdrive. <laughs> Jesus Christ! The worst nightmares haunt us where we feel safest. At home. God, look at him with his little pirate earring. At last. Let's go. Oh, that's hype. That had a very let's hunt some orc kind of ending to it. Beautiful. Look at this place. So that's where she hails from. Somerset. I love the subtle redesign of the logo, too. Adding the little green leaves to it. It's very nice. Okay, and now for something completely different. We're going elsewhere. Now, one, now, this, now this is where my Skyrim lore kicks in. I remember that elsewhere is where the Khajiit are from. So I'm expecting some more Khajiit action here. Fingers crossed. Elder Scrolls, so this is the Elder Scrolls Online Elsewhere Cinematic Announce Trailer. Let's go. Okay. We're delving into a tomb. It's like the most wizardly looking wizard I've ever seen. <laughs> Look at this guy. Yes, it's a black Khajiit. Oh, it's Murder Paws. I have a cute little black cat named Murder Paws, and anytime there's a cat character, it's Murder Paws. Which means I'm now emotionally invested, and if anything happens to this Khajiit, I'm going to be inconsolable. <laughs> are we? Are we sure we want to? Oh, she had the same thought. What have you done, wizard? Why would you do this? What the fuck have you woken up? Is that a Balrog? Okay, that's a dragon. That's definitely a dragon. Run, murder paws! Get out of there! Multiple dragons. Oh, that's a gnarly son of a bitch. Look at that guy. Look what you've done, wizard. Look what you just woke up. Was it worth it? You just unleashed dragons on elsewhere. These poor cats. Well, that's a cool city. God, the Argonians look so good. They're so detailed. Is it a prisoner transport? Look at that lock. It's definitely a prisoner. God damn it. <gasps> the rogue! He's alive! Okay. He's alive, and he's a prisoner, and he's being carted towards a city that's about to get absolutely fucked. Oh, this one came out on my birthday. That's cool. Well, this was the cinematic announced trailer, which means the next one is going to give us the real meat and potatoes of the story. So let's go. Elder Scrolls Online, Elsewhere. Official E3 cinematic trailer. Nice, this dropped at E3. Let's do it. Oh, geez, look, we're already too late. You feeling guilty yet, wizard? <laughs> okay, so the Cardi was in exploded, but he survived. Jeez. 
Jeez. How are we supposed to fight that thing? God, it looks so good, though. Be careful, murder paws! I'm too emotionally invested in this Kajit, like, immediately. She's so brave! She's charging in! Oh! No! Oh, the poor horsey. Oh, what's he gonna do? Excuse me, what is this? He's got some new tricks. Oh, I have chills! What did he just do? Fucking bone armor? He's like a necromancer now? Oh, God! Come on, dude. Yeah, it's time you fix your mess. Let's go. He's like a bone knight. This is so sweet. Oh, God. Nice. We were getting some glyphs, finally. Murder balls! <laughs> I love it! Yes, okay, the town's banding together. Let's go. This is your moment. Defend your homes! Oh my god, baby girl, please be careful. What are you... Oh, shit, no! Ah, oh, and it's flying now? What's the plan here? Oh my god, wing slice! Yes! I feel a little bad for the dragon, honestly. You better land on your feet. Ooh. No, she's got to be okay. Yes. Oh, God. This trailer's been emotionally exhausting for me. <laughs> God. I'm so proud of my cat right now. Awesome. That was fucking badass. That one is easily my favorite so far. Because I got to watch my cat slay a dragon. And that's awesome. That's so cool. Okay. S Season of the Dragon continues with Scalebreaker and Dragon Hold. So those are two separate DLCs, maybe? Or just like d different events of the same expansion? Either way, that was awesome. That was, that was really cool. When I'm not playing a Nord, if I can play a cat person, I will create a character of my cat. That's something that I do whenever possible. Because I love Murder Paws very much. That one was dope. That one, I think, might be my favorite so far. Somerset was my favorite because it gave us our first Khajiit. And then Elsewhere just took that up to the next level. Oh, and Elsewhere's not done. Okay, this next one is Elsewhere, the Game Awards 2019 cinematic trailer. 2019, we're getting closer to present day here. Um... Let's go. Let's see what happens next. That's right. We still need to deal with uh, the main dragon. The big horny guy that we let out of the cave. There he is. We have a dragon on our side? Is that what's happening? No! The 
dragon on dragon action's cool, but I don't want him to die if he's our friend. That's right, because you know the dragons are intelligent and you can reason with them sometimes, like Parthenax. Not this guy, though. He seems pretty unreasonable. It feels too easy. Took everything out of the wizard, though. What was that? You guys need to go. Okay, good, yeah. Create a portal, get them to safety. Alright, wizard, you too. Oh, he's sacrificing himself. Yeah. I have chills, actually. No, that's... This is, this is how he atones for unleashing dragons on the world. Respect. Respect to you, wizard. I take back what I said. R.I.P. Oh, I'm sad cat. Elsewhere. Yes! Woo! I was wondering where he's been. He's watching this happen all the way from Skyrim. Look at this. Explore the dark heart of Skyrim. Yeah, I'm, uh... I'm getting very invested in this world. I definitely want to see what happens next with these characters. The Elder Scrolls Online, this is really a brilliant concept for, for a high fantasy nerd such as me. You've got your you've got your dragons, you've got like the classic legacy species of, of, of humans and elves and dwarves, and then you've got new stuff like Argonians and Khajiit. I just think it's so cool. It's so cool. And then there's this whole like extra horror, sinister side to it where you've got demons and vampires and ghouls and it's, it's just, there's, there's so much. There's so much to explore here. Um, and aesthetically, it's all right up my alley, too. Okay, now we're moving on to something different. We've got the Dark Heart of Skyrim announcement cinematic. Let's go. Oh, yep. Winterhold. We're in Skyrim for sure. You're a tall glass of water. Hello. <laughs> Literally, she's a fucking giant. Look at that lady. Hmm. Slaughtered town. Weird red mist on the ground. Something's fucky here. Is this what invisible assassins let's get ready for a fight why would you run away man come on <laughs> It's just going to be the two of them. It's going to be Barbarian and the big gal. Oh! Come on, you two've got this. Oh! Get fucked! Vampires! They're totally vampire thralls. Cool. Well, it looks like Skyrim's got a vampire problem.
part of the mountain. Whoa! Oh, that's fucking cool. There's like a whole vampire kingdom down here. Vampire Lord! Yes! Let's see him. Oh, we're not gonna see him. Come on, what a tease. Greymoor. Part of the year-long adventure into the dark heart of Skyrim. Alright, let's just keep going. The next one should be a longer version of this story. Alright, here we go. The Dark Heart of Skyrim launch cinematic. Let's go. Okay, we found the cavern entrance. They must have tracked the bats to this to this location. Damn. Here we go. I think he and her are the only ones making it out of here. That's my prediction. Everyone else in this raiding group is just a, is just a red shirt. That's so fucking cool. That's like where Gary Oldman's Dracula would live if he could. More of these creepy statue things. There was one of those in the town. These things are about to come to life and kill everybody. <laughs> yeah, it's not good. Not good at all. Oh good, well at least he's noticing and they're not going to get jumped. I'm sorry, what is in there? I thought there were going to be big like golem things that just came to life. But it looks like there's actual creatures encased inside them. They're fucking werewolves! Why would werewolves be inside those things? Holy shit! I thought this was a vampire place! Alright, put in some work, sister. Let's go. Let's see your Nord blood in action. Oh, God! Come on! No! Yes! Oh my god! She is badass! Must go faster, must go faster. Time to leave. So the vampires and the werewolves are working together here. It's not like Twilight would have you believe. Oh no. Look at him! He looks great. Don't charge forward. We gotta fight the ads first. Oh, this is about to be sweet. Someone in the comments, please let me know why a vampire lord has a werewolf army. The Dark Heart of Skyrim. Fuck yes. I love it when it goes full horror like this. Like, amazing. The vampire stuff is some of my favorite in Skyrim. Alright, and now we're on to something completely different. This is uh, the Gates of Oblivion teaser trailer. The Gates of Oblivion. Oblivion being another one of the previous titles before Skyrim that I haven't played. Um, I didn't know that Oblivion was a place, though. I thought it was like a 
plane of existence. Kind of like the world between worlds. Um, I don't know. Maybe I'll learn a little bit about it from this trailer. Let's go. Gates of Oblivion teaser trailer. We're just taking a nap out here. Seems like a nice night. New elf. I like this location. It's very Temple of Doom feeling. She's having an epic nightmare right now. Whoa. Oh, look at her eyes. Gates of Oblivion. Yeah, Oblivion is, is basically hell, right? In Tamriel, it's Tamriel's hell. Let me know in the comments. I, I could be just talking out of my ass. I don't know anything beyond Skyrim lore, so... <laughs> um... Let's keep going. All right, now we're going to get the proper cinematic trailer for this Gates of Oblivion official cinematic announcement trailer. Let's go. Oh, shit. Yes, escape! Oh, ow, God, face first in the bars. Is this the blonde elf? Freaking cultists, man. Every time. He's holding the book. Is that the book that she's going to get? Oh, another character. Bretonian from the looks of her. Okay, is this a rescue mission? I love spellbook pages. They always look so cool. Oh my god, yes. And the Argonian sneaking up the side? Let's do this. Oh, he's got a cool blade. Oh! Headshot! Alright, let's go. Get her out of here. Nice. Just stabs with the arrow. Fuck yes. Woo! Let's go! Fucking up a bunch of cult members in robes will never not get old. Shit, what are those? Oh god, no, he's... Damn, they're smart too. Oh! Nice. Nice. He'll probably survive that fall though. What are you doing? It's time to flee! Oh shit, did you just create a portal to oblivion? And we're just going in, okay. We're in oblivion. Oh, that's a person. What? Oh, look, they've, they've changed the logo. It's all demonic now. 
That's awesome. These trailers really know how to leave you wanting more, right? They've got the perfect cliff cliffhanger moments to leave you on. Absolutely fantastic. I gotta say the marketing for this game is is unparalleled. And I've said it before in previous reactions as well, but like MMOs in general just have like the highest quality cinematic trailers. And even if you're not a player of MMOs, an enjoyer of fantasy still can get a lot out of these stories. Like, and that, that describes me perfectly. I'm not really that big of a gamer, but like I love me some fantasy storytelling. So this is this is right up my alley. And I have to say, we're about two-thirds through these trailers right now. I am really enjoying these. These are great. All right. Gates of Oblivion launch cinematic. Let's see what happens next. All right, so here we are. That's interesting. We're actually retreading this moment. Usually they skip forward a little bit. go it's gonna hurt oh! how do you even fight that guy he's like you have to fight my mini me first okay so now the forces of hell have the book forces of oblivion I should say And I'm assuming that this guy is who that cult was worshipping too, right? Because they were trying to sacrifice her, send her through a portal to this guy, I think. Before she was rescued. Let's get this lackey. Come on. Ooh. He hits hard. Ooh, God. Come on, you gotta hit him all at once. None of this one by one bullshit. Come on. Ooh. Cheese and rice. One life for another. It's true. They risked everything to save her life, and now it's her turn. Ah! Uh, ah, uh, you got so close, man! Ha 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 ha! Jacked! That was hilarious. Take that, you stupid asshole. Nice. Okay, so they're stolen the book back from him, and now we get back to where we were. They're back on. They're back in this plane of existence. But oh god, that's so intimidating. He followed you here. How? Blackwood. Part of the Gates of Oblivion. Awesome. That was really, really cool. A totally different little story there, too. I like that we are, like, routinely being introduced to new characters in this world, but then they keep touching back on ones that we know before. And it really makes everything feel much more connected. I'd love to check back in with my little, uh, my little Khajiit girl from, from elsewhere, though, so if they could bring her back soon, that would be awesome. Um, next, we have... It's simply called The Elder Scrolls Online 2022 Cinematic Teaser. Um, I don't know if this is connected to a specific DLC or if it's just sort of an overview of where the game sat in 2022. Let's find out. Oh, cool. He's playing Monopoly. That was a sweet transition, actually. I'm not going to lie. And I love that every trailer has given us a new arrangement of the, 
of the Elder Scrolls Overture. It sounds so good each time. What is this beautiful little place? Three very different ships from three very different places, I think. Oh, there's some rotten on this island. That's intense. So, did, is he somehow controlling the swelling of the sea with his little magic board? Or was that just, like, for added for dramatic effect? Like, so, clearly something's about to go down with these ships once they arrive on the island. Let's find out what. And we're going to find that out with Elder Scrolls Online Legacy of the Bretons cinematic announcement trailer. Oh, okay, so is that, like, uh, Bretonia? Is that what it's called? I, I can't remember if Bretonia is a, is a Elder Scrolls thing or if it's a Warhammer fantasy thing, but... This is the island where the Bretons come from, I'm assuming. Let's go. God, these graphics are just getting so good. We're planning a siege. Okay, so we've landed on the shores and we're planning to assault this little, this little town. Oh, that's the elf. I was going to say, we know her. All right, the chase is on. Cool. Is it our boy? Yes. Okay, he survived the, the shipwreck too. Which means the barbarian's gotta be here somewhere, right? Gonna try and assault the castle by night. Okay. They seem to be pretty heavily armored for all these weak spots. can't tell if they're part of the invading force or if they're trying to stop it. Yeah, there's my boy. Oh, shit. We're too late for whatever this was. Damn. Okay. They were here to stop the coup, but they're too late. This is like the ruling council of this place. And he just dispatched them. Fuck. It's gonna be like that then. High Isle. Legacy of the Bretons. Okay, I thought that they were here to aid the people and they weren't here to do the takeover. That was the creepy night guy doing a takeover. That was awesome. Alright, well let's see how this one concludes. Now, and this is the launch cinematic for High Isle, so we're going to get the rest of this little story here. Let's go. War and death in the streets of the High Isle. Oh, shit. Okay, here we go. That was definitely a blast from the elf, right? Yes. Pretty gnarly greatsword he's got. Uh, I, 
feel like these characters have survived so much that at this point the stakes are pretty low. Like, I'm not worried for them now. You just threw him as a projectile! <laughs> ah! It's true, though. This dude is pretty goddamn tough. He's, like, as big as the Barbarian. Ooh! It was a good idea, though. Damn. God, he's just gonna toss him to his death. Ironically, that's what the barbarian tried to do to the rogue at that one point. Got him! Oh! No fucking way! He's still good to go. Jesus! Oh, there you go. There you go. Bring it down on top of him. Right? Yes. Crush his ass. Is he dead? He survived a whole ass sword through the chest. I don't know if that's gonna if that fall is gonna take him out. Oh lord, if it's not one thing, it's another. Okay, we've stopped we've stopped the revolt, and now there's a volcano erupting. I was gonna say, he's not dead. There's no way he's dead. Awesome. That one was cool. That was an extra cool fight scene, actually. I really like that one. Alright, and now we've only got one left. Um, it looks like it's gonna be something totally different. This is Shadow Over Morrowind. Cinematic announcement trailer. Let's do it. Oh shit! No! Zombies! New characters again? Oh, that's cool. He could teleport. I feel like we changed aspect ratios. We're not in letterbox anymore. Oh shit, what is that? Okay, funeral procession. Tentacle things are freaking me out. Appreciate the skulls. What? That's not fair. Okay, they're illusions. Oof. Oh, no. What the hell? Jesus! Shadow over Morrowind. Look at all the eyeballs on the logo. Is that one of the Daedra? It's gotta be. It's gotta be one of the Daedric princes that looks all fucking weird. That was awesome. That was awesome.
And that's it. That's all the cinematic trailers for The Elder Scrolls Online. That was fantastic. I feel like I just watched like an epic fantasy movie. I really I really like the visual design. Um, the music went hard the entire time. I've always been a big fan of the main theme from Skyrim. So the fact that they use that same melody and like repurpose it in, in different arrangements. Like they change up the instrumentation. They make it sound like it's being created in a different culture for each of the different uh, trailers. That was awesome. That was really, really cool. The music nerd in me really appreciated that. Um, and the fantasy nerd, just the nerd nerd in me, appreciated these too. Yeah, these were absolutely awesome. Sound off in the comments below and let me know what cinematic trailers I should react to next. After Final Fantasy and now this, um, I think this is the way to go. These are awesome. And I, there's so many more stories out there that I haven't experienced yet. Um, so if, if, if there's one that you could think of, send it my way. I'd love to react to it. This was awesome. Yeah, thank you so much for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed my reaction to all the Elder Scrolls Online cinematic trailers in release order. This was a ton of fun. Um, check out the rest of the channel for more content, reactions, and reviews. And like I said, leave me a comment and let me know what cinematic trailers I should react to next. Thanks again, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace!